hello guys welcome back so now in this video we will uh, create and design the user interface for the sign up and sign in screen so for that purpose we have to create a new folder so right click on lib new directory and we will give it name as uh, auth screens and then right click on auth screens new dot file and we can simply say auth underscore screen so inside the auth screen folder we have our auth screen dot dot file for the material dot dot and we will create a stateful widget and we will give it name as auth screens which simply means authentication screen I'm going to install the app on the phone so that we can see the changes at real time just for now we will change the root path by default to here okay we will change it to the auth screen just for now okay just for the testing purposes later on of course we will change it so now let's click on the play button in order to see our auth screen okay which is a black screen as you know we have an empty container so we will basically use a tab controller we will have two tab pages one tab page will be the login tab page the other one will be the registration tab page so for that purpose we can simply go with the flutter default tape controller widget okay default tape controller widget and now it has these properties length that is how much tape button we want we just want two buttons for example the as I told you the login and registration so we will have login screen and the registration screen that's why we give it length two. then we can set child scaffold widget we will add an app bar and we will use uh, the linear gradient for our app bar color you can say the decoration so for that purpose you already know that we have our on the home screen we have used the decoration okay so just copy this decoration box decoration code from here okay just copy it and here we can first say that is flexible space container and then apply that decoration here just paste that code here okay so now if I run it you can see it here then after it we have to set the title for this this page or you can say the screen so you can say const using the text widget and we can say I shop and then let's apply some textile on it for example first thing we want is basically to increase the font size to 30 then letter spacing 3 and then the font weight will be bold so you can say font weight font wet dot bold so this is all about our title now we want this title at the center so we can say after the title the next property is center title and we will set this to true so it will move to the center and then after it here we will have our two tab buttons the login and registration so for that we have property which is bottom and we can say const tab bar it is the tab bar widget using which we can implement that so tabs and as you know that the length of it is 2 that is we will you we will have two tab buttons the login and registration so we will create two tab using the two tab widget the first one will be for the 
login and let's also set an icon alongside with it so we can say icon icons dot lock and then apply some color on it colors dot white okay just like this so this is our first step button login and then we can simply copy paste that here this is our second one which is registration just like this so login and registration and the icon we will use for this will be icons dot person so these are our two tab buttons login and then registration so the user can navigate between these two pages of course we will implement the login tab page and the registration tab page for now we just create these tab bar okay which has two buttons login and registration now if you see here this uh, line okay this indicator I mean you can also change the color of it for example uh, I want to change the color of it okay so we have a property for that inside the tab bar widget okay we can simply say indicate indicator color and you can simply say colors dot white let's go with white to see how it looks okay now you see it becomes white we will go with white 54 which is little bit gray so it is totally up to you okay which color you want you can even go with black 54 okay so it will become black so anyways this was the property and let's go with white white is good now also you may want to increase the height or you can say the weight of it okay to make it more uh, big so for that we have a property by the name indicator weight so let's give it 8 so you can see here okay it becomes too much let's go with 6 6 is enough and with the indicator weight 6 I think this color will looks good okay little bit you can say gray so yeah it is now up to you whatever you like you can set the design according to your choice okay so this was all about our auth screen now the next thing that we will do is basically we will set the the body of our this auth screen that is after the app bar we have body So we can say container first of all let's apply the decoration on it so just copy this decoration and here we can simply paste that okay decoration now if you hot restart then here you can see this is the body of our auth screen so now we have to add the login tab page I mean we have to create and implement the login tab page and then the registration tab page and we will do that using the tab bar view widget in flutter so after the decoration the box decoration we can simply say child const and our tab bar view widget in flutter which is a multi children widget since we will have our login tab page and registration tab page two pages okay so we can say children and first of all let's create the right click on auth screen new dot file we will have our login underscore tab underscore page login tab page and then right click on auth screen new dot file we will have registration underscore tab underscore page registration tab page just like this so first of all for the login tab page we can say import material dot dot 
create a stateful widget we will give it name as login tab page and then just for the testing purposes just for now at the center of the screen we will display a text just to differentiate that is either it is working or not so we will just say that is this is our login tab page okay and here on the registration tab page let's quickly import material dot dot create stateful widget this is our registration tab page and now we can simply say that is this is the registration registration tab page okay now if we come here to the off screen then here we have to provide first of all for the first button we have our login tab page and then for the second one we have our registration tab page so this is so simple and so easy now since we have these two pages which will change that is the user can either go to the login or go to the registration so there is no need to add this const modifier anymore okay so we have login tab page registration tab page now let's restart the app to see if it is working or not so here we go on the login this is our login tab page and if you click registration then this is our registration tab page so that is so cool and so nice now in the next video we will first implement and design the user interface for the registration tab page and then we will implement the login tab page okay user interface so yeah see you guys in the next video bye for now